You should go to the gym. I don't know if that intro made sense with its video title. Now listen, if you watch my videos and you're in my Discord, you know I try to promote you know I try to promote the gym and exercise because I think everybody should be getting exercise because, listen, I know none of you want to be a fat piece of shit sitting on the couch eating Pringles all day, eating Cheetos all day, playing Roblox, whacking off to God knows what. Now, if you want that, go ahead. But me personally, I don't, I ain't digging it. And I only say that because I, I kind of was in that point. I was just a skinny piece of shit eating dog shit. Now I'm just a big shit eating dog shit, but I work out and I feel way better. On real though, I think working out is one of the best things you can do. You get in way better shape. Things go way better for you. You your mentality just changes way more and you're just way you're way better honestly so i always try to recommend exercise in the gym to people but i know not everyone likes the gym because you know they see old jerry over there rose on 1500 milligrams of roids and is lifting like 500 pounds like it's butter now listen bro this is where i this is the advice i give you go on a walk Go on a run, go on a hike, just go outside and walk around, do stuff. Like, that is some of the best things you can do. I love going on hikes. Nature's beautiful. And now, there's been many factors in my life that have involved me into working out in the gym, but one of those things has been fitness content on YouTube that's been wanting me to work out and be in better shape. Now, if you're on YouTube enough, you've probably seen a enough fitness content around but there's been this huge influx of gym influencers that i've been seeing recently that i can i honestly kind of dig fitness content used to not really consist of much on youtube it used to just be like fitness tips maybe some challenges the closest thing you'd get to like a gym vlogger was probably rich piana the fuck away from me you fucking nigga. but if you look now there's like so many different influencers you got Lex Little, Trend Twins, Max Taylor, Alex Eubanks, Sam Sulik, uh, Larry Wheels, No Diesel. List goes on. There's so many people. Like, there's, I discover new people every day. And I honestly think it's pretty cool because it's just kind of like vlog content, but it's for the people who aren't like, they don't live extravagant lives. Well, some. Like, it's really just regular old dude that's like yo i go to the gym and it's nothing like crazy like i like that it's down to earth and i like it and, you know it's great seeing this gym content just pop up like crazy and influence more people to go to the gym like i haven't seen so many kids go to the gym until like recently and it's great I'm, i love seeing that but one thing i've been seeing an issue with is there's a lot of lies going on in the fitness community on the internet there's a lot of things going on just in the fitness community in the internet in general that's just doesn't sit right with me and that that's kind of what i wanted to group circle talk to you about give you a ted talk so one of the big things i want to talk about first is the good old roids baby now from some of the fitness influencers i listed you can probably already tell they are juiced up most of them um i mean trend twins literally got trend and then, like, there's no doubt like steroids are definitely in the fitness community for sure but um there's been a lot of fitness influencers i've seen that promote roids to people and I want to get muscles, get big. Roids is the first thing I should be doing. I should be taking 1,500 milligrams of trend, bunch of SARMs. They take everything, and then their life is just ruined. They got a small dick, no hair, terrible acne, and their muscles look like shit. You know, as much as I dislike roids, I do appreciate the influencers who are honest about their roid use and try not to promote it. Noel Diesel, for example, you can tell he's juiced up, and he knows he's juiced up. He's admitted that, yo, I'm on roids, but... Hold up, bro. I ain't telling you what I'm taking, because that's fucking gay. And I have a lot of respect for people who are honest about their status, about if they're natural or if they're on roids. I just think people need to be honest about if they're on roids or if they're natural. They just need to be honest about the device they're giving me and not just lying to my face and telling other people, yo, this is the right way you should be doing stuff. Fuck eating healthy or working out good. Just take trend, bro. Moving on from the roid talk. 
TikTok at it. Now, I'm gonna be kind of a hypocrite here. I ain't gonna lie. I was Shut up. Listen, bro, you are not perfect cell, all right? You're not Beerus. You're not fucking anybody. I, I don't know why I'm not thinking about any other anime villains right now. You're no anime villain that can just lift 500 pounds with their pinky, all right? You are Brian. You are 16. You are in high school. You drive a beater-ass car. You only just go to the gym. That's your whole personality. Jessica just told you, no, I don't want to date you. You smell like fucking tuna and now your heart's broken and now you're in your batman villain arc i'm saving the city now i don't mind people showing off their physiques on tiktok doing little edits to that it's kind of part of the fitness community you gotta show off what you got but i just i'm not really a big fan of the tiktok edits of people who are think i am the absolute shit i am the villain of this story i'm gonna show how i am the villain and i'm gonna put some dark quote over the screen to the show that i am such a fucking badass villain and speaking of cocky videos the fuckers who bring their cameras in public and act like they're the shit you're recording right now yes. i don't want to be in your recording i don't care you touch me watch what happens shit the fuck up you don't now you've probably seen all the videos of people that accidentally walk in front of people's cameras and they freak out i'm gonna I'm tell you what to do let's just say you're recording yourself doing a bench press you're about to hit a pr about to do something nuts and someone walks in front of your camera does it suck yeah kind of sucks but should you press the dude for walking in front of your camera in a public place no hey iphone chief here so one thing i wanted to add into this video that i didn't really bring up is respect for other people just not just in the gym but like in public in general you know if you're recording yourself in the gym showing your physique and everything um and someone asks hey i don't want to be in your video respect that and don't record them and if you really want to record your physique in that moment just move the camera to where they're not in it and same goes for if you're out in public recording other people if they don't want to be in your video don't put them in your video i'd be hella gassy i ain't gonna lie i almost just shit myself real quick interrupting the video um i just dropped a new song called cult classic um i already told you pre-save in the last video but it just dropped go stream it Good song, great song. I have a bunch of other great music up too. Go stream that. And transitioning from the cameras. Again, woman recording in the gym. Sweeties, is me so uncomfortable? I'm talking specifically about the videos of women saying all men in the gym are creepy and they will proceed to record a guy just accidentally glancing at her and say she is being freaked out by this creep. I'm not saying there's no such thing as a gym creep. They're real, but it's the instances where it's just a guy. Let's just say it's a guy. He just finished his set. He's just looking around the gym. Now he's on somebody's TikTok page because he got called a creep for accidentally just... <laughs> Like, let's just say you're struggling with a weight and he just goes over there to help real quick. Just to spot you or something like, are you going to call him a creep right after? Or are you going to thank him? I'm just saying. And like I said, I'm not saying there's no such thing as a gym creep. They're real. They're out there. And it's even vice versa, too. <laughs> you know, despite all this gym culture shit that I just spewed, I'm enjoying this new gym culture for the good things too you know i love seeing so many younger people starting their gym journey starting to get in shape trying to be healthy and you know i want to do the same for you now my content may not be directly gym fitness content but you know just me promoting it to you i think it's just it's more than enough and i would love to keep promoting it to you guys more and more every day so end of the video i'm gonna give you some word of advice for the gym if you are a newbie yeah and want to get into it don't make the gym your whole personality i'm not saying you can't really like the gym and know a bunch of shit about it but don't make that the only thing that you're interested in because then you're just a one-dimensional person and who wants to talk to a guy who's only into the gym and doesn't talk about anything else um another tip try and stay away from the roids when you're first starting out let's just say you're like three years deep or something and you want to go to the next level do some roids 
sure go ahead i personally won't be like that but if you want to do that go ahead but please just try and stay away from the roids as best as possible start off natty eat good work out on a good routine if you're trying to gain weight eat a good amount of calories try not to eat like complete shit and if you're trying to lose weight eat good foods eat lean foods that are gonna make you full and most importantly be safe have fun because if you're not having fun then what's the fucking point also one more thing progress isn't gonna come immediately hey yo what the fuck? that was an issue i had for a long time i thought i would see progress instantly and i would work out and i would see nothing but i learned that eating is very important now, honestly it's 80 percent eating 20 percent working out to be honest once i started eating a bunch of calories i started to finally gain weight and get into the shape i want now i'm granted i'm not in the shape i want yet but i'm a step closer than i was a year ago so like i said be safe have fun take the tips i said live your life in a healthy way that's all i want to promote all right made to the end um i would just like to thank each and every one of you guys for watching my videos all the time i upload i know i don't upload so frequently like you guys would like i get it but you know i'm a busy guy i got a life and i try to do my best to give you guys content and enjoy it and enjoy music too just do all the things i want to do thank you guys for all watching my videos it means a lot that you guys will wait for me and watch my videos it's amazing thank you guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up dislike it if you really hated it comment something cool nutty interesting whatever you want to comment maybe call me a racial slur um subscribe if you're new to the channel join the discord follow me on everything links will be in the description for everything stream my music too please and enjoy life that's the word of the day thank you all for watching and i'm about to dip deuces